Hi everyone, it's Mickey again from GameMakerCast. In this episode for Skaterfall, we're going to be working specifically on the backgrounds and separating them out into a tile. In our room, you can see that we have two backgrounds already in use, and we're going to switch these out. The first thing we want to do is make sure that our sprite background, the anchor point, is set to the middle left. And the reason that we're going to do this is within our room, say we have these two tile pieces here. When they're moving along here, what we want to do is say when the last tile piece or the first tile piece is outside of the room, we want to set it to the room, um, the room width. So having the anchor point right here at the beginning will help us achieve this. Now I'm going to go ahead and delete these two backgrounds because we're not going to use them. Instead, let's create a new object called obj background and make sure that we assign our sprite backgrounds. Now we're going to be using two events. We'll have a create event and we're also going to have a step event. In the create event, all we're going to care about is the speed the background is going to be moving. So let's name that horizontal speed and we'll set it to 4. Actually let's set this to true 2 for now. In the step event, want to take our x position and minus equal the horizontal speed. So what we're doing is we're going to start here and in every frame we're going to minus it by 4. You can see here at the bottom it's going to go the correct way and then what we're going to do next is once we're at this spot we're going to reposition our object back here so that we create an infinite scrolling background. So back in the workspace, we're already moving it. So now we need to check to see if it's outside of the game room itself. We could say if the X position is less or equal to, we want minus sprite width. Now our sprite itself, the width is 256 pixels. So that code is going to say if X is less or equal to minus 256, then it's going to come into this F statement. So in here, here, we could just say x is going to equal room width, and that will put it right back where we needed it. Now the only thing we really need to do is assign the random tile pieces here. So we have four frames, and we want to pick one of these frames when we're going to loop through the object. So in the create event, we need a couple things. First, we need to tell it not to animate. So we could say image speed equals zero. And actually, let's at the top, let's add randomize. So every, th every time we run it, it's going to be random. And next, we need to choose a random frame. So we say image index is going to be i random range. And the reason we're using i instead of just random range is because we want a whole number, not something like 1.25. All right, so we want i random range between 0 and image number. So pick a random range between zero and however many frames we have on our sprite. All right, so we'll copy this and in the step event, when we place it all the way back to our room width, we want to randomize that index as well. Now in our room game, in our instances layer, let's rename this to, let's say wall. And in here, we'll take our object background, make sure that our grid is set accordingly so we can kind of see here change the background to black and I will place our first object in now the one thing you might notice while we're doing this is our shadows are now behind so we could just take our stock and drag it underneath our wall all right we'll do a second one here make sure that's all lined up and we're also going to need a third one and I'll explain why we need a third one just in a second. All right, so the reason why we need a third one is as these are moving, oops, let me select them. As these are moving this way, if we get to this position here, if we only had a number two, this spot is gonna be empty and this will wait until it's out of the frame to move back here, so we'll have a gap. So that's why we need three and they're going to loop through each one and let's see if this works it should create a scrolling background here i'll just drag this in and we can just watch it for a little bit and it seems to be working it is choosing a random frame to display 
and that seems pretty good. So we have our background scrolling, and the next episode we'll get our floor scrolling. Thanks for watching.